Hello and welcome to my video blog on my handbag collection. Now, this is something I was really unsure about filming for many different reasons. Um, because people are going to judge me and also uh, there are haters out there and I didn't want it to be at all that I am bragging or showing off or anything in that manner. It's just this is what I am passionate about. This is my absolute love. Like I love clothes, I love fashion, but handbags, different level. And for those of you that know me will know this and you'll be sat there smiling away to yourself because you know I'm, I'm so obsessed with handbags. Um, and I think, do you know what? There's other women out there that are the same. And I watch other people's videos and uh, blogs and I think I love it because that's my interest. I don't look at them and, and think, oh, you know, they shouldn't have that or they don't appreciate it. So I have decided to go for it. I am filming it. I am showing you, I would say about 70% of what I own. So I've picked out my absolute favourites and ones that I think that you'll enjoy having a look at. So here we go. Oh! <laughs> Number one <laughs> is my, probably, I'm starting with the best. Um, you'll recognise the colour probably. So this one um, I have featured in my top five uh, handbags uh, probably, oh, it was probably a couple of years ago now I filmed that. And this is obviously, of course, my absolutely beautiful Hermes Birkin bag. I've had this for quite a few years now. She doesn't come out very often, just on special occasions. Um, in the tan with the silver hardware just beautiful the smell everything about her this is my ultimate number one this is the reason you know this is my bricks and mortar right here um she's beautiful she's classic i will have her forever i hope to god that one day i'm blessed with a little girl in which case she will then go to her um this is never leaving my home it's just my dream bag my number one is my hermes birkin So next up, um, we're going to be looking at my Chanel's. So I have um, a couple. This one is one I share with my mum. So this one is the Jumbo. This one's quite a vintage one, I think. Um, this is the obviously the black and the silver hardware. Yeah, my mum and I both share this one. We kind of duly use this. She loves it. She wears it more as like a crossbody, where I probably just wear it over the shoulder. Um, it's quite versatile, goes with an awful lot. I'm quite one of those people that if I've got silver accessories on, I have to have, they all have to match, it's a bit weird. Um, but we also um, invested in the black and gold version as well. So that's the black and gold one. This is more the caviar leather. Um, again, quilted. 255 classic Chanel it goes with so much literally wear it an awful lot you can wear it in the evening you can wear it in the daytime it is an investment and you know they go up every single season so if you are thinking about investing in a Chanel hands down would recommend it next up is my little pink one lambskin oh, wouldn't go for lambskin again if I was brutally honest um, I'd go for the caviar leather, it's just a bit sturdier, it doesn't wear as quickly and stain. Um, but yeah, love my little pink one. Wear this more for weddings, the size is obviously a bit smaller, so it's not quite as practical as the bigger one. Um, but I still equally love it. And then this one I got from um, Arch Label Agency in, um, all the others were from Chanel, but this one uh, was just from a, a label agency. It's a bit faded and it's knackered, it's a little vintage one, but it's brilliant a crossbody for, um, I take some holiday with me if I was going to, not that I'd go a lot to festivals, but somewhere where you need a crossbody, you need to be hands-free and it's more just a, a throw your phone and a lip gloss in, then this is absolutely perfect. So use that quite a lot. Next up is my Givenchy Antigona. I got this um, probably a couple of winters ago now. It's more of a winter bag. I definitely use it more in winter. I don't really use it in summer. But again, it's really good, really sturdy, structured. I love it. I've used it a lot. 
and again would recommend this bag hands down it's a really good style to have Then we're going to go on to my Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I've only got a couple of Yves Saint Laurent bags and to be honest, they're one of my favourite bags. Um, so I think I need more. Yeah, right. um, so this one is the beautiful, I think they call it the Sac de Jour. Um, and I got it in this colour, which I suppose it's not cream, uh, like a natural colour. It's really lovely um, with the gold hardware. You can obviously wear it crossbody so you've got the long strap or you can wear it as a shoulder bag but again I have worn this a lot it's great for things like the races it fits a lot in as well so it can be a day bag as well as an evening bag then my other Yves Saint Laurent is this little silver clutch bag which again is brilliant for New Year's Eve for parties things when you just want a little bit of glitz it's just got these YSL embroidered here um, and I have actually seen these, um, I got this from Cricket in Liverpool, but I have actually seen these bags in, at Bista Village for a third of what I paid for this. So if that's something that you're after, it's definitely worth trying Bista Village. Um, I saw it in silver, pink, I don't think they had it in black, but definitely worth having a look there. So then we're gonna look at my Louis Vuitton collection. And um, the first Louis Vuitton I bought was this one. So the original monogram um, in the Speedy. So you can tell like, when you first buy Louis Vuitton, um, this is almost really pale yellow. And then as you wear it over time in your hands, it darkens the leather and that's absolutely natural. This size, I think is, 30 so it's kind of like a bit of a it's not a small size it's kind of a medium one and I think that was my first ever Louis Vuitton bag I bought in my early 20s so quite a few years ago and I still have it now I don't probably use it an awful lot but I don't really want to get rid of it and then a few years ago I decided to I loved the speedy style so I got the Damier Azure in this one and I went for the slightly bigger one I think this is the 35 yes <laughs> excuse me so that must be the 30 this is the 35 so this one's a slightly bigger style and I got this for spring summer so a bit bit lighter for summer where again have used it an awful lot in summer and probably that more in winter then the next Louis Vuitton bag I bought which is probably the best investment I've made was the whole door. And I got this at least, I would say, probably 15 years ago, perhaps a little bit less. Um, and I have obviously used it so much. Weekends away, traveling, it's just been the best investment because there are a lot of money now. I think they're about sort of 1300 pounds now where I think I paid, you know, three, 400 quid for mine. Um, so obviously I absolutely love it. My partner's just got one. Um, and again, it's just really nice to have for a weekend away. So that's my Louis Vuitton whole roll. I've also got a little Louis Vuitton um, clutch bag in the Damier Reserve. But what I actually do is it comes with a, a long shoulder strap. So I use that again as a crossbody for holidays. So I know we went walking around Venice, Barcelona. I use that little bag because it's safe. You've got a zip on it. And it's a great crossbody, but you have got the chain as a, as a clutch if you wish. Another one of my Louis Vuittons, which oh, has been a fantastic purchase, is my Neverfull. I got this for my birthday last year, year before, and I have used it so much. It's a great bag for travelling, for shoving everything in. You can use it on the beach. I think my original video when I first put this in, I did say it was going to be a baby bag. There's no baby yet. Um, but it's great. It comes with like a little clutch, which you can take out on an evening. I went for the large size, but then I'm tall and curvy, so I can carry it off where I'd say, if you were petite, go for the slightly smaller one. And um, they do it in all the different prints, but the Neverfull has been a fantastic investment for me. Brilliant for work as well, shoving client files in. It's been fantastic. So next are my Mulberries. I don't actually have that many Mulberries. It's not really a brand. I, I do love Mulberries a brand and I would say a lot of my clients buy Mulberries. But actually personally, they're a little bit too 
safe for me. I prefer something just a little bit different, but I do I do love the brand and I am loving some of the, the new styles. The, the couple of bags I've got, could it be any brighter? Um, I got this one about four or five years ago for Christmas from my mum uh, from Shop Cockervelles in Oakham. Bright pink base water. Don't wear it an awful lot, but it's always a bit of fun to have if you want to brighten up a bit of a dark outfit. And then the other bag I've got, which I love and use loads, and fully recommend if you're thinking of investing in one, is the Mulberry Lily. I got it in, I think this is called Rose. Um, it's like a blush nude colour. So me, and it goes with so much. This is the medium size. They do do a large size, which I'm thinking about investing in the black. And then they do the small, and then they do the mini. But if you are thinking of getting one, absolutely brilliant. You can wear it obviously as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Um, reasonable size, but definitely recommend this as a little bag. A brand that I do love, um, I've got a couple of their bags, Balenciaga. My first Balenciaga I bought is this one. You can see obviously these bags have been worn with serious love. Um, in the blue with the gold hardware so it's quite blingy but I really like it when you're wearing denim, navy blazer, white vest this bag just adds something to quite a simple classical outfit and then a few years later for a wedding I was going to I bought the sort of is it pink is it purple a bit of in between clutch bag which again I love with the gold hardware Mew Mew is another brand that I probably not so keen on now. I probably don't look at it as much as I once used to, but I have got a couple of bags from them that I still love and wear now. This one for winter, which is the Matalise leather, which is like this ruched, really soft Napa leather. It's just beautiful in this sort of oxblood colour. Mulberry kind of bought this colour in last year and it was so big and I predict for autumn winter this year it's still going to be so I'll probably use this again but because it's that really luxurious soft leather in this colour definitely for winter and then I've also got a Mew Mew clutch bag which again great colour quite oversized so it goes with a lot you can fit a lot in um, but yeah really nice Mew Mew clutch bag. Got a couple of Prada bags. The one I've picked out to show you is this one, one of my favourites, um, little gold clutch bag. Looks like it's just quite a big clutch bag, oversized clutch. And then it's got this um, metal hardware studs on it, which I still love. And this must be a good six, probably, no, 10 years old. And I still use it now. And all of these bags are from collecting for years and years and years. This is what my passion is, what, you know, I love the craftsmanship. I love the stories behind them and I hope to have these for another 10, 20, 30 years. I take such good care of them. They're always remain in the dust bags, neatly stored away. I spray them, I protect them. So this is why I've still got them all these years later because obviously they are good quality. Gucci. Gucci, I've got a couple of Gucci's. I've picked out my favourite ones to show you. This is one of my first Gucci's I bought. Look at the size of that horse bit. So obviously um, Gucci's changing rapidly, but sort of, this is, I suppose you classify this as vintage now. I got this from a shop called Flannels in Nottingham and I loved it at the time. I haven't used it for years, but I still don't want to get rid of it. But it always featured the horse bit. Um, so yeah, that's one of my oldest Gucci's. And then I've also got, one of my favourite Gucci's is this, I think it is a hold all, but I love big bags, so I wear this normally. Again, in the summer, um, it's quite a big, it's just a nice bag. It comes with like a, a, a shoulder strap as well, so it is more of a hold all. But again, I love it. I love the colours, I love the nudes, um, and I wear this in summer. So that's one of my favourite Gucci's. And then last but not least is my beloved Celine, which I got for my boyfriend for was it Christmas, birthday, a couple of years ago. Again, I don't use it a lot because it's not a practical colour at all. But again, you'll be seeing this blush and nude theme, which I love. And this is the Phantom. 
Celine Phantom. This one actually came from Vestiaire because it was a 2012 model and they didn't do this colour anymore so I actually sourced and tracked it down from Vestiaire. Um, so it's all genuine um, and I absolutely love it. It's hardly worn. Any little stains on it is the ones that I've put on. But yeah, this is definitely a summer bag that I would use. Um, I absolutely love it, but I probably should use it more often, but I'm just so scared because of, of the light colour. <laughs> so please don't judge me. I hope you've enjoyed watching my handbag haul. I've tried to get through it as quickly as possible because I don't want you sat there for half an hour thinking, oh, get another bag. I've picked out, like I said, probably about 70, 80% of my handbag collection. My favorite pieces of all the sort of brands that I love to, to look at and to use and wear. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Please don't feel I'm bragging or showing off in any way. I hope that you also share this passion. Like I'm looking at this now thinking, oh my God. <laughs> There's so much, but you know what? I love it. This is this is my babies. This is my husband. This is my house. It's all here, right on the floor in front of me. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.